So a very devoted viewer, uh, Journeys into the Light, thank you Journeys, has asked if uh, Megan is blocking Harry's return. So that's what this video will be about. And I hope you do like the video. If you like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. It just makes a, a you can't imagine the difference it makes, but thank you anyway. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I'm curious, you know, is she the one blocking his return? Uh, he says there are certain reasons, but where do those reasons come from? And uh, so that's what we'll address with the cards. Okay, so uh, Journeys into the Light, viewer Journeys into the Light wants to know, is Megan behind uh, Harry not coming to the UK? Is she blocking him? Is it her? Is it the Duchess of Sussex that's causing this, uh, this to happen? Too many cards, really. Yeah, four cards is too many. Yeah. To just fall out, just me being clumsy. So, is it Megan that's blocking everything? And uh, I would just always say that when we're dealing with these people, these are real people with real lives, and uh, we should make sure that our intentions are set appropriately. But now, there are children involved, and you always want for a family, no matter how it formed, uh, to. Uh, to do well. So a good intention is what's needed. Well, if I could tell you my family history, uh, you probably wouldn't even uh, watch me on this screen. So you never know what can happen. Okay. Is it Megan that's causing the block of Harry coming to the UK? Is it Megan? So six cards off the bat. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it Megan? Okay. The signifier card for this read as to whether it's Megan that's blocking Harry is the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands is uh, short-term celebrations. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And so usually these small celebrations for me, the Four of Wands is a small celebration onto something bigger. So it's Megan blocking Harry, and we get the Four of Wands as a signifier, small celebrations onto something bigger. <laughs> the challenge to that then is the lover's card. Well, of course it is. Uh, love gets in the way of a lot of things. And uh, love is blind, uh, some say. But the challenge uh, to these uh, celebrations moving forward is the lover's card. And it is love, okay? Uh, not infatuation. The base of this reading uh, is this uh, Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is happy family. You know, it's emotional. Uh, everything's a rainbow and wonderful and full of emotion. It's all up in the air. We've even got the four, the, all the family members uh, right here. That's the base of the whole reading. So that's why we want to pour good intention into whatever is going on here. These two little ones here don't have much of a say in this. Uh, the past of this reading uh, is this Ace of Wands, a great big plan. Okay, for whatever reason that they're off on this journey, this is huge. Why would we want to make it any harder? The sky of this reading is this Ace of Pentacles, value. Okay, this is a situation that's involving a lot of value. The, the monarchy sees it as uh, an important situation. Personally, I would imagine these, uh, this couple sees it as an important situation. Is Megan blocking? The likely outcome of this, with this page of swords, and so the page is the messenger, the weakest of the court, of the court cards, that certainly fits uh, Megan. Uh, swords or action plans, uh, no, I'm sorry, are truth, justice, rules, and law. And it, But it's interesting that we find this page balancing on uh, that sword uh, over that precipice, but she makes it across. And she's got a book of knowledge in her hand, and she's got a lot of ideas uh, that she's holding on to. So is it Megan? Can something tell us if it's Megan? And so far, it seems to be the situation. 
and uh, but she does seem to be leading Harry through this because I honestly don't think he'd have any idea how to uh, do this otherwise. Maybe now. Four more cards, is it Megan? The uh, self of this question is the female card and its strength. So she seems to be the one. Who is the strength? Look at this half lion, half woman with a little lamb in front. Is that Harry? The um, environment that that's in is it is it's Harry. It's Harry. And this Knight of Swords, truth, justice, rules, law. Harry running for his truth, running to jump on that motorcycle and soar off with his truth. The hopes and the fears. This five of pentacles, yeah, it's being left out in the cold, which is exactly what where they are. And the likely outcome is this Knight of Cups. So this is finding uh, that compassionate warrior inside that can get back to the royal family and say, here's my compassion on a plate. I think um, it's, you know, this has all seemed really to talk about the emotions, the change, and all of that. The basis of all of that is Megan, of course. And uh, but I don't know that that's a bad thing. You know, it's just that uh, when or whomever is important in your life is the basis of your decision. So we'll read it again. Uh, is it Megan blocking everything? Well, we get the four the four of wands, small plans onto something larger, but it's challenged by the lovers, the two of them themselves. And the base of the reading is the happy family. You know, that's the important thing now. Their family, not the royal family, their family. The past of this reading with this ace of wands is a great big plan that uh, really is taking a lot of concentration. And up to the sky, this is this ace of pentacles, which is all the value that's wrapped up in this monetarily and emotionally. And the likely outcome of this is this woman balancing across truth, justice, rules, law with a book of knowledge and a lot of ideas. The basis of this uh, question is strength. This is a female strength. The uh, environment that is in is in this fellow running for his truth. The hopes and the fears is uh, being left out in the cold. All your value. And then the likely outcome is that knight uh, finds his cups and comes forward on bended knee. That's what I got. Well, I don't know if we'll ever know if, whether these cards are accurate or not. Um, it would take uh, another tell-all biography for that to happen. So um, let me know what you think. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. Wonderful cards. They're very beachy. They're very now. Uh, the container they come in is really nice. It has some nice thoughts inside. And um, the cards themselves and the guidebook, all of this is good. The, um, the guidebook, although it's not in color, it's readable and uh, it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh, interpret some of these cards. Of course, you know, the interpretation is very personal, so you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system, and you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very, uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just, even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone, if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh, into the mode of of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some some tarot reading done. So, Light Sears Tarot, really really nice cards. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.